Hi guys. Uh, Maisto Extreme Beast. I did a lot of videos with this, um, probably last year. Got two of them, both from charity shops, both cheap. Uh, normally have a bright green body shell on them. This was the first one I had, and when I got it back from the charity shop, when I bought it, I put it out on the garden and promptly killed the motor because it couldn't cope with the long grass. It just jammed up and overheated the motor. So I did change the motor, but the motor that I put in there was pretty slow. And I'm just wondering whether any of the motors I bought recently uh, sort of random buys on eBay see if they're any better. So I'm just going to have a look see what we can see. Let's take it Take the wheels right off, it's a bit easier to see what's going on then. Okay, why don't you want to come out? It's a little while since I've taken it apart, so... Screws right out from the looks of it. Yeah. I don't think I need to take these off, off to get to the motor because we can see the motor there. I do think I've got to split it apart anyway. I think there's screws on the inside of the motor to hold it in place. I think. I don't remember. I do remember that the motor that I've got in there, I again bought on eBay, fairly random item. I think it was actually designed for car electric mirrors. But it was one that I spotted that was the right shape, you know, length and thickness and that sort of thing. Now, I've got these. I got these. I put one of these in one of my other cars. But I can't remember what it's called at the moment. And it was pretty disappointing. I don't know whether that one being smaller would run faster on the same voltage. Bit of sort of reverse logic there. I think I've got to separate that out because I think there's a couple of screws on the back end of the motor stopping it just popping out because that's not coming out.
bolt because it's held in place by that bit. I have done a lot of videos using this chassis and putting stupid things on top of it because people wanted things radio controlled which just meant sticking them on top of a radio controlled chassis. Things like blow up toys. I try to make my viewers happy by doing what they ask. Right. So yes, it is screwed on from this side. Right, well that motor is the same size as that one. But so I was a bit disappointed with these. That's a smaller one. Hmm. I'm very tempted to try that one. That's two six zero SA. That's 280SB. That says 380 volts on it. That says 450 volts on it. I've no idea what those actually mean. surprise me if the 260 and the 280 is that length. Anyway, I'll have a little think. All right, this is hardly a scientific test, but if I just put the same voltage on both of them, That one sounded faster. What happens if I put the same voltage on there? Oh, that's very slow on there. Yeah, that sounds incredibly slow by comparison. So, not a scientific test at all. I think I will try that one then. So we'll see if we can pull that pinion off there and put it on there. And desolder them while we're at it. Right, my little pinion gear puller.
Okay, that one's off of there, all right. Will it go on here? Because this has got a splined shaft, and I had problems the other day when I was trying to put one of these on. It was a bit tight. Okay. The ideal is be to have a proper clamp to clamp it up. But I don't have one. That doesn't want to fit on there. going on but I'll stop filming because it's going to be noisy all right well that's in there so we'll now solder them in the right way around Right, so if it went in that way round, black hits that end. Okay, turn that off. OK, 
Okay, we'll put it back together. All back together. Can't really tell whether it's any better indoors. All I can say is if I press the throttle, it spins the wheels. So uh, yeah, well we've changed the motor, we'll have to try it outdoors and see if it's any better. Thanks for watching, you'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there, and you might like to subscribe over there.